Since the days of ancient Rome, winemakers have been storing and aging their wines in underground caves like the one John Comus showed me at the Flora Springs Winery in Rutherford, California. He says caves are always cool, so they don't need air conditioning, and the constant dampness is also a plus. The, the main thing is the evaporation. Uh, in the caves, with the humidity as it is, uh, we get uh, very little loss of land, uh, wine, probably less than a half a percent. Uh, whereas we're out in the cellar, it's almost 2% a year that we'll lose in the cellar to evaporation. And you is, have to top all those things off whenever the, it evaporates, you're, just, you're burning the, up wine. Yeah, every uh, few weeks we have to go through and top everything off. Uh, caves don't occur naturally in Napa Valley, the hill, so the wineries end up digging their own, like the one John had under construction during my visit. Uh, so what, what's the process for doing all this? So they have this large machine actually, uh, they started bringing the machines over from the coal mining days of England because the they earth uh, boring machines that we had in America were for uh, tunnels and so forth for uh, highways. It's an amazing operation with a road header out front, boring into the hill, with a carbide bit on a 20 foot swiveling arm. It grinds away dirt, rock and whatever else it hits. Debris falls onto the apron and is then conveyed to the back of the machine where it's loaded on the muckers, which haul it outside, dump it, and race back inside as fast as they can. They drill about six feet a day, and then they're putting this gunite or shotcrete on uh, in layers. So these walls, eventually that gunite will be six to eight inches? Well, actually more, about nine inches thick. Okay. Once we get all done, we'll have uh, excavating and, and putting the uh, wire mesh in. It'll be four or five inches. Then we'll run our utilities, our conduit for our electrical, the water, and so forth. And then they'll come, they'll do a final coat, which will be another four or five inches. So there'll be about nine inches of material, some places deeper. John told me the new cable measure about 425 lineal feet and will just about double their storage capacity. 